Uh, yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Vashti and I'd like to talk to you about how online social networking can reduce poverty in the developing world. Um, I run an organisation called DECI that does this. Um, we connect people through person-to-person -person microloans um, and, and the idea is we empower specific people in the developing world to work their way out of poverty. So we do this via our website, so lenders are anywhere in the UK or anywhere in the world can go onto the website and choose a borrower they would like to support. Here's an example of in Ghana, this woman here wants to process this paddy into rice and she wants to borrow some money to buy some more paddy. Um, her husband is unemployed and she single-handedly supports a family of 13 um, and she plans to pay back her loan over six months. So by setting up their own businesses, the borrowers are um, able to help themselves out of poverty. So the idea is they become self-sufficient, economically independent and improve the quality of life for them and their families and their local communities. So the idea is you, you, you've given them some money, about 10 or 20 quid, and they pay you back um, over about six months. So you can claim the money back, you can re-lend it to another borrower, or you can donate the money to Decky. So, so the, the idea is that your one loan helps a number of different borrowers and that you create a cycle of, poverty, a cycle of lending where you choose a number of different borrowers, get repaid monthly, get monthly updates, and then create this cycle. Um, so, my slide. so you can see here that this one lender here is lent to a number of different people. So she's used her money to keep recycling and lending to more and more people. She's lent about 10 or 20 pounds to each person. So how it works is that we work with field partners who form a relationship with the borrowers. There's me and Paul with one of our field partners. Um, and they administer the loans and offer them training and support. And we currently have um, field partners in Nepal and Ghana. So essentially what we're doing is combining two things, microfinance with online social networking. So microfinance is a stable way of helping people help themselves out of poverty. And um, social networking is a good, great way of connecting people across the globe via the internet. So just to give you a little bit of background onto the two areas, here's some more women from my microfinance institution in the fall. Um, so microfinance is a great way of um, combating poverty that's been proven to help people all around the world well, work their way out of poverty. And microfinance, and it's not just about loans, it's about savings and insurance too. So here's someone in one of my people in Ghana. So what happens is these people are often rely on money lenders to, to set up their businesses who charge really high interest rates and they struggle to pay back their loans. So um, the idea is if they're given to access to microfinance, they're being empowered to take control of their own futures and become self-sustainable. So when you combine, what we're doing by combining this with social networking is we're trying to create, create a community and build relationships so we know what social networking is, Facebook, Twitter, um, most of us would probably use these in some, some way. So this is a new way of doing it where you're kind of gaining an insight into the lives of people in the developing world and actually being able to help them. So what we're doing by connecting people through these microloans is promoting dignity where we encourage a partnership relationship rather than um, a benefactor relationship. Um, we're promoting accountability because they're loans and then it's not a donation. Um, because we're asking the borrowers for, for, for um, repayments and we're pro promoting transparency because the DECI website allows you to know exactly what's happening with your money and we don't take a cut out of the loan. So just to tell you how this all came about, I founded DECI in August 2008 and I was inspired by DECI Dolker, a Tibetan refugee who my father had sponsored from childhood. There's a picture of DECI here. Um, and I visited her in India and kept in regular contact with her via email. But when she left school, she didn't have a job and she didn't have any money to start a business and she returned to Tibet to live with her strange family. So this motivated me to, to help other people who, with a small loan, would be able to set up their own businesses. Um, and all these pictures of people, of real borrowers on our website that, that we've, we've managed to help and people that you can get involved with helping. So in the future, what we're hoping to do, well, Deck is going to be a charity, and we're hoping to extend our lender base, and we're hoping to extend our outreach across the um, developing world. And in terms of um, social networking, what I'm hoping is that this, it will continue to expand in the right direction, and that we'll see more and more social networking sites kind of dedicated to making positive social change.